Hey, welcome back students. In this video, I want to take some time to explain the difference between Q and H, or Delta H. And so there is a way that you can tell the difference between these two variables. And oftentimes, uh, we tend to use them interchangeably, especially if certain conditions are met. And so uh, H here is referred to as the enthalpy, and Q is referred to as the uh, heat of a reaction. The thing is that they can oftentimes be considered the same if a certain conditions are met. And so the way that this happens is if you have the condition in which you have pressure being constant and that there's no work being done, then definitely we can use this equation, in which case the uh, delta H here is going to be equal to Q. But remember here, this again is only going to be when the conditions are met and those con conditions are going to be when you have a uh, constant pressure, so that's constant P, and there is no uh, work uh, resulting from expansion. And so that means that there is no change in volume that's occurring. Now if that's the case, then obviously the delta H and the Q are going to be the same thing. Now, one other thing that I do want to make sure I clarify here for you is that when we look at these two terms here, the, the H and Q, is that both of these terms are dealing with this concept of, you know, when we say delta H or Q, oftentimes we say that it's the heat of the reaction or the change in heat of a reaction uh, or the heat that is being transmitted. But remember that all of these, even though we are talking about heat, heat here is directly referring to the energy of the system. And so the energy here is going to be that potential or kinetic energy that's involved in that particular system that we're looking at. So another way that you can think about this is that H here, if we kind of look at this here, H is going to be the total content, that, that total heat that's available in the system. And it's actually going to be related to a couple of items here. Uh, so here this is going to be essentially looking at the sum of the uh, internal energy as well as the product between pressure and volume. And so here plus the, uh, the product here of pressure multiplied by the volume. And so the equation on here is actually equal to H is equal to E plus P times V. And the other one here that we need to look at here is the information related to Q. Now keep in mind here that Q is really referring to that heat that is being lost. It's either being gained or it's being lost. So this is going to be uh, energy that is, uh, oftentimes you often refer to it being said that it's it's being moved. It's, it's actually transitioning from one state or from one object to another, but this is gonna be energy that is either gonna be gained or lost, okay? Whereas the H is gonna be a total amount of the uh, heat or the total amount of energy that is involved in that system, that internal energy overall. Okay, so that's one way that you can separate these two out and we'll continue to do some examples on this one here uh, and utilizing some of the equations that we've got here overall. But if you haven't already done so, please subscribe, keep watching, keep learning, and we'll see you in the next video.